What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today I am in a undisclosed area. So I can't be uh, giving you all secrets of what's coming up. This video I'm gonna be doing is called What's Suppening? Like what's happening, but suppening, suppening. Uh, anyway, we'll work on some title later on. But uh, today I wanted to talk about a couple things going on right now. And one of the things is the new 2023 Toyota Corolla GR. So Toyota finally released information on this car. And what information we have is we have three types of models that Toyota has brought. And the different model trims are the Core, the Circuit Edition, and the Marizo Edition. And price-wise, the Core starts at $35,900. The uh, Circuit Edition uh, is around $42,900. And the top dog of, all, of them all, the Moriso, which is at $49,900. I'm uh, like, damn, that's, that's a lot of money for a three-cylinder car. Yes, three-cylinder car, not four-cylinder or v6 v8 a three cylinder now how toyota did it you know that's the engineering's job to do all that this show's not um, explaining that but uh at that level they are producing at a horsepower of 300 300 horsepower at 273 pounds of torque so that's not too bad for a 1.6 liter turbo charger with three cylinders right that's not too bad i mean Compared to the Type R four cylinders, the FK8 especially pushing 306 horses. So it compares to it. But the awesome thing as well for this Toyota Corolla GR is it does run on four wheels, meaning it ain't a front wheel or a real wheel. It's an all wheel drive system. So that's pretty cool for something so small, light, and producing 300 horses. That's not too bad. Now, color-wise, there's only three colors for the uh, GR Corolla. And those three colors are white, gray, and red. White, gray, and red. That's it, only three colors. Uh, I thought they would probably have black. That would have been cool, like a solid mini tiny car that's all black, blacked out, black tint, put it on some bags, you know, black wheels. That, that, that would be pretty cool, I think. But anyways red white and gray that's the three different colors uh so you know very limited choices but those are the basic colors for any car i think i mean we don't, we don't want no you know psychedelic colors or something that's that's what wraps are for now the best thing about the gr is it is only on six speed manual no automatic no automatic no automatic guys that's that's for other drivers this is a six speed manual transmission so if you don't know how to drive one go learn because the future it's 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 gonna be obsolete we're gonna head down to electric vehicles and six-speed manual internal combustion it's it's gonna it's slowly dying down so i'm glad toyota brought this vehicle back all you know tuned up i guess i could say and you know for all the car enthusiasts that want to keep you know tracking their car and just having a fun drive especially in the canyon Now, speaking about the Corolla GR, brings the attention to the new Honda Civic Type R FL5. Yes, the FL5, which I don't know if I'm getting, but uh, that's not what we're discussing about. I just wanna kinda explain more on the comparison of the FL5 with the GR Corolla. Now, the FL5 will have practically the same engine as the FK8, which is the K20 C1 engine, but of course it has different performance parts, I guess I can say, uh, in regards to it now, a, a tune and so forth, that instead of pushing 306 horsepower, it'll be pushing 315 horsepower. Now, it'll still be front wheel drive. It's not like the Corolla where it's all wheel drive, 
But as you know, Honda engineers, they've like perfected the front wheel drive of this Honda Civic Type R, especially FK8. So they're just bringing that technology back to the FL5 and adding more to it because they've also corrected all the, I would say the overheating issues that they've always had with the FK8 in a few years past. Uh, so that's a really great thing. Now for me, it's all about the electronics. So the interior of the Type R, it's, it's amazing from what I've researched. A uh, whole new look, all the gauges, the digital gauges, so forth. That That is just totally awesome. But included now is uh, not just regular CarPlay where you connect your USB cable. No, it's wireless CarPlay. So yes, wireless CarPlay. You don't have to worry about anything in the way when you're driving or to put your certain mount holder at a certain area with that cord dangling around. Nope, it's wireless now. So basically Bluetooth, uh, you sit in your car, start your car, boom, it should connect automatically. And for the models for the Honda Civic Type R, it's only one Type R because as you know, there's the other models already, the sedan, hatchback, and the Type R, I guess you could say it, something like that. But uh, yes, the only Type R and price wise that's going to be the question unfortunately we don't have pricing yet on the type r but but uh numbers they're saying it might be around forty thousand dollars in the u.s so if you actually look at that price that is actually somewhat lower than the corolla gr so hmm, makes you wonder like is it worth getting the fl5 type r or do you want to try something new with the corolla gr so drop a comment below, let me know what is your decision. I mean, you already know what my decision would be. Um, I might change my name to Eric FL5. We don't know yet, we don't know. But what's, what do you think? What, what kind of car, out of these two cars, which one would you choose? So thank you for watching. This was a quick video because I'm currently in an undisclosed area. As you can tell, I might post videos on uh, where I'm currently at and in future videos though. But uh, next week I'll have more videos on installations and modifications. But for now we're doing it this way to let you know what's happening. Suppening. What's up? Remember that? What's up? That, was that Budweiser? Was that a Budweiser commercial? Anybody? No. Yo. What's up? What's up? <laughs> Hold on. Hello? Well, thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. But for now, keep smiling, be safe, and always stay driven. Peace. Before I let you go and for you to decide which car you probably choose, the Corolla or the Type R, uh, let me just play this video and hopefully it'll help you on your decision on which car is the best. Check it out. Three, two, one, go! Oh, go on, mate, go on, mate. Oh, there's the Type R! No, it's close! That Type R is quick!